هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith nimas izo iftaris amenos. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it is time for another BTS vlog. Oh, I said another segment of the BTS vlog anyways. Hmm. Let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 6 hours and 34 minutes into the day of... Monday, uh, May 26, 2014. Uh, for those of you in the United States, it's, Mem it's Memorial Day. And for those of you who are of the Eastern Persuasion, uh, Christos so and Esti. Uh, it's been... Uh, as I said, there's no real time off here. Because I tried to do work yesterday, and, I did, and then I got work done. It's just not what I expect to get done. It wasn't... You know, I didn't meet my expectations uh, yesterday. Uh, a large chunk of it had to do with I st I'm still working on some of the notes uh, for the new series in terms of how to make it part of the uh, uh, of the uh, of my schedule. Then the other one is uh, I'm still working on the graphics. There's a lot of graphic overlays that have to be done for the new shows. I'm not done. That sort of if you want to call it post production. Uh, uh, effects or graphic overlays. That's not done yet. Uh, so that has to be done. Uh, I got a chunk of it done yesterday, but I still have more to do today. And uh, so although there's progress on the editing bay, it's not to the point yet where I could just sort of uh, routinely put out uh, the videos. Although I'm going to be trying to sort of get into that mode today. Uh, I should put out something uh, later on tonight, uh, uh, well, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see this video until maybe about uh, until Friday. More content's gonna be coming out. I've got a couple new ways of doing things in terms of getting the um, information out. It's gonna it's good it, it, adjusting things is gonna take a bit of time. It's not gonna be as easy as I thought it was gonna be. But again, that's the way always. That's the way always. You, you you have an idea of how things are going to go. Once you get into it, they're fun. They're fundamentally different. But you work through uh, these differences, and eventually you come to some degree of uh, uh, of solution. And that's sort of what what, what this is all about here. We're here, we're here behind the scenes. We're we're growing, and uh, so far it seems to be we're growing on every every two to three months. We we are growing. We are making that next step we are ha having and seeing some degree of growth so uh, as long as that's actually occurred we are actually seeing progress then i'm happy with that so it's now basically on to the next level and to see whether or not i can go from that single show up to a more regular basis on the other show with other shows uh um again the problem is one the editing being two getting the information out uh because every time you put out uh you know, you, you pop up in people's lists. And you don't want to be popping up on people's lists with the same thing over and over again. Uh, you, you want to sort of give the impression that you are a TV, now a TV channel and then there's a, there's a fair amount of content to watch. The problem with the content is, is that it's not necessarily a popular type of content. It's more of a PBS type of content. Uh, where it's somewhat... So it's not necessarily educational. It is educational, but not in... Uh, like PBS and most other edu educational channels are aimed at uh, basically high school and elementary school. They're basically aimed at, uh, uh, at younger at younger crowds or on a on a lower level. Uh, the PBS style house content that I'm going to have in here is going to be aimed at an academic level. It's going to be academic in, orient in orientation. Uh, it doesn't mean that people are going to be restricted from watching it. It just means that it's going to be more complex material. And I'm going to be talking about things that uh, 
are typically beyond the average person's experience. So that means that uh, we're not going to have shows that are five minutes in length. We're not going to have discussions that are five minutes in length because five minutes is not in depth. That's, 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 it, that's simply the reality. You can't do something in depth in five minutes. You do need time to talk about things. So this is kind of where we're going with this, and you'll sort of see this. But I do have ways of sort of interacting uh, that I'm working on. I'm working on some new uh, ideas to be more interactive with the YouTube community and allow the YouTube community to be to interact with the shows as well. So uh, you'll see that uh, coming up uh, over the next few weeks. That will sort of evolve and uh, 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 become better. Uh, as for the uh, kitchen diner, the kitchen diner is coming along. It's functioning. Uh, the summer menu is in full swing, so we're working on that. I will do a video this week in the kitchen diner. But uh, what the cot is actually going to be, I'm not really too sure because I'm still working some of these ideas out. Uh, it's going to take some uh, some sort of... Uh, it's going to take a couple test episodes to really work out the details of as to what I'm going to do in the kitchen diner. Uh, sorry about that. Mm, sorry about that. Uh, what else is there? Mm. I think that's about it. I'm going to leave it here for now because sometimes I go over and it, this is a little short now. So I'm going to leave this here for now and I'll talk to you more tomorrow. Because I do have another video in a few minutes to record, and you'll see that coming up. All right, uh, take it easy, and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Uh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's time for another segment of the BTS Vlogs. Kind of a groggy morning, but otherwise, uh, let's see here. It is 6 hours and 29 minutes into the day of Tuesday, May 27th, 2014. And we are in a, uh, uh, a somewhat regular sleep pattern. Because morning is actually morning. <laughs> um, there are going to be some changes in here. Because uh, a lot of the uh, heavier chunks of things are now starting to move off into um, list of logs. And because Insta Vlogs are coming back on as a more regular feature, that means other content has to come into here. And uh, so the goal is is that I'll do shorter segments uh, in terms of what we see here, uh, but in very low but in very locations. So more it's shorter segments, but more segments uh, to make up the total time. And I think those so that will sort of break things up and give us an opportunity to do more here and make it more lively. So that's what I'll do. And the thing is, rather than just being uh, back here once, it'll be sort of throughout the day and at different points in the day, sort of at the research desk, at the editing desk, uh, doing some laundry, back warehouse, uh, doing some cleaning up, uh, different things like that. So I think that will sort of break up the uh, the pace here a little bit more, change the uh, the, the the flow of uh, the BTS log, but still keep it sort of behind the scenes. So, uh, and this is ha this is happening because I have been able to uh, sort of uh, even though I haven't been finishing everything I needed to finish, enough is getting done that. Things are progressing that I do have uh, uh, that I have spaces now in the schedule to fill, and so this is going to give me more of an opportunity now to put in new things to uh, uh, get things more in the routine that I, that they, they should have been to start with, uh, but they just simply hadn't been. Uh, anyways, I think that, uh, I'm gonna leave it here for now because I'm gonna see you uh, more during the day today. Uh, and so I will come back and say hello and tell you what's going on after maybe after breakfast or sometime around lunch. Uh, let you know what's sort of where the progress is, where things are heading. 
for the rest of the day, give you sort of maybe midday progress report, <laughs> you know, whatever, however, uh, whatever ends up happening for the day. So, uh, that's it for now. I will talk to you uh, in a few hours. All right, take it easy. <laughs>
as you are watching this in sequence, then you'll see that uh, uh, I did do a vlog at the, at the research desk. I spend most of my time at the research desk. The research desk is, is finally upgraded. It's to the point where uh, everything is now work back in working order. Uh, a good chunk of the backlog has been taken care of, so now we're starting to move forward with the actual research at the desk there. So, uh, a lot of the stuff is, it, it has cleared out, and <laughs> things are starting to progress. Uh, anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 8 hours and 32 minutes into the day of Wednesday, May 28th, 2014. Yay. <laughs> for that. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm going to be trying to do more uh, editing. The goal is to get more up. The problem I have with uh, once we've done the editing is getting the content out. Uh, one show, uh, just a half hour, takes uh, approximately uh, two hours to upload. And that does uh, take a fair chunk of time. So if you're looking at, if I want to upload two, two shows a day, uh, I'm looking at four hours a day of uploading, so uh, I think there's going to be a limit to what I can do. But you know, we'll try to. Say, well, I don't. I'm not. I'm nowhere near that limit right now. But uh, uh, I think that's something that has to be, has to be dealt with. The other thing is that putting out that much content uh, means that I'll be putting out more announcements. But I don't want to overdo things so I'm still trying to figure out how to put the announcements out so to get all the new episodes it's recognition but at the same time not overload the um, the, the um, not do too much in other words I don't want to be always out there and people well I do and I don't want I don't want I don't want to be sort of annoying about it <laughs> be sort of you know being present but not being too annoying about it so uh, I am going to try to work on that this week, or actually even today, even because I should put out. I, if if I can put out two more videos today, that will be good. Uh, we'll see what happens if I can get the two more episodes out because there's still a fair amount of editing to do. I do have to shoot. I realized that the, after finishing doing the IMO yesterday, that it wasn't a simple topic, and the topic I was talking about. Uh, which is called slut shaming, is actually a much larger topic than uh, just the first half, just that one half hour. And, and, and this does happen is that sometimes you realize the topic as you start looking into it is more extensive and um, I'm looking at, into different ways of doing things and sort of bringing out uh, the. Uh, bringing out the level of research that, 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 that we. When you're trying to do something, bringing out the level of research that uh, is required in many ways to really develop a good understanding, and so this is sort of where I'm going to take uh, Insta vlogs, particularly the IMO the IMO segment, is into this sort of a, a larger realm of uh... <sighs> sorry about that larger realm of research, uh, but. Um... We'll see about that. We'll see how things work. Uh, I did work. End up working. Uh, how many, many hours? I work, ended up working. I ended up working a fifteen-hour day yesterday. So a fifteen-hour day yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a minimum of twelve. That's my, uh, my goal to do is a minimum of twelve. That's what I usually do is twelve hours a day. It's only when I get into the fatigue mode that that kind of slows down. So I've got twelve hours to fill. Four hours will be uploaded, but while I'm doing the uploading, I'm going to do other things, so uh, that's neither here nor there. So, uh, where are we going with this? Well, it's time for breakfast now. I'm going to go have some breakfast, lay out the schedule for the day, see if I can get some, you know, uh, I'll be back here probably in a half hour, 45 minutes to uh, after breakfast to do the IMO. And then once that's done, uh... I have uh, editing to do. I also have. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a news broadcast uh, today as well. So we'll see. Well, you know, we'll see what happens with uh, uh, the schedule for today and what I get end up getting done. And I'll let you know 
you know, giving a midday report for this at the research desk as to what's going on and um, how things are progressing. Anyways, I'll leave this here for now because I said I don't have to fill the full eight minutes up here uh, because I'm going to be filming extra segments. So, <laughs> welcome to the new format. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Oh, good morning, everybody. It's time for another BTS, another segment of the BTS Vlogs. Yeah, let me get a time and date stamp and we'll get started. It is 10 hours and 50, 57 minutes into the day of Thursday, May 29th, 2014. It was a very long day yesterday. I did another 15 hour day. Most of it was studying. Uh, I'm working on a project, and the project took up an enormous amount of time uh, chasing down leads. Now, if you're watching uh, the uh, the Insta vlogs, you'll see how I go from point to point as I'm doing the research. I look, I check things out in terms of the background. You have to go find sources. Well, finding sources and watching them all the material, reading through the material, is time consuming. So that when you are working on a project and you do start finding good sources, you do have to sit there, read through things, watch the, whatever is being watched. Like if you're watching a documentary, if you're watching a lecture, or um, you're watching uh, you know something being presented, then you do have to sit and listen. You have to take notes. You have to sort of you know uh, uh, you know. Uh, spend the time and it does it is grueling it, it, at the end of the day when you've done you know 12 15 hours of studying like that you've got you've gone through 12 15 hours of that uh, you're you, you you can't see straight when you when you get off the system off your off the research desk and you are rather exhausted and then the day afterwards you're kind of knocked out <laughs> and that's just kind of the way things go um, so uh, now normally there would be there'd be a, a, a shopping video today, but the, the shopping video is me held, held off until Friday. Uh, the reason being is I just changed the locks on my door and I'm waiting for my dad to come pick me up. I'm going to go out to my parents' house for the first time with a new lock on the door just to make sure that everything's working all right because I don't want to lock my door. I've tested it out already, I don't, but I don't want to lock my door and find out there's something wrong with no one around. So uh, tonight will be the first night someone's going to be around so I can lock the door. So if something happens, I can, you know, deal with it. Uh, but so and if everything goes well tonight, then uh, tomorrow, Friday, I'll go for a walk and I'll take you with me. So every time I go for a walk, we'll go together and, uh, uh, you know, change of scenery is always good. <laughs> uh, uh, other than that. Look for more content coming. Things are starting to move along. Uh, the editing bay is starting to, to work nicely. I've got a good workflow going so that... Uh, uh, there's no real issues that are slowing things up. Um, so now I'm starting to one by one tick off all the different things that have to be done. And as that comes up, as that sort of, as the routine uh, becomes more routine, more work's going to get done, more shows are going to come out, more episodes are going to come out, and the content for Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha TV Network is going to start to build. And that's what you should start seeing uh, rather soon, so, uh, if you haven't started seeing it already. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it short here, because I'm going to try again to vlog... Uh, in the afternoon, do an afternoon vlog, sort of, uh, that will sort of split things up a little bit more. <laughs> Let's, we'll see what happens to do an afternoon vlog. It's already, it's already, it's already, it's only around 11, so by the time I have lunch and everything like that, breakfast and lunch, it will be 3 o'clock before I do the next vlog, the next segment of the vlog. Alright, uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Beep.
prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. <laughs> Well, it's May 30th. It's just about 11:30, so that's a good enough for uh, that's a, uh, good enough for a timestamp. As I don't have a watch and calendar in front of me, so I can't give you an exact date, uh, exact timestamp. Anyways, it's, this is the uh, morning segment of the vlog, but I'm also going shopping, so we're gonna do our shopping and philosophy <sighs> this way. I look at other people's vlogs and realize I need to sort of vary up where I film, where I do the vlogging, to make it interesting, I should say more interesting. I also have to uh, uh, shorten the time of the segments so that uh, I th think the segments need to be between three and four minutes and that will sort of make a bit of a difference. The thing is, is that uh, that's kind of complicated, particularly when you're trying to talk about something, if you're going in depth into something, uh, and not just doing like talking, uh, because it breaks a train of thought up. So, in certain cases, because we are a PBS type of channel, we are more of an academically oriented channel, things are going to be long. But in other senses, where we can, let's you know kind of vary it up and uh, bring more interesting uh, topics in. Right now we're going uh, food shopping. Uh, I'm into my summer summer diet, my summer menu, uh, but uh, I'm doing some adjustments to it, and that will be reflected in what I do today in terms of what I get. So, what I decided to do is I decided to cut out during the summer because it is hot. You don't need the amount of food that uh, you typically need uh, during the winter. So, one of the meals is being cut out that I have. Uh, some of the uh, high, uh, snacks that are higher in carbohydrates are being cut out. Uh, more fruit is coming in. And, and instead of one solid meal, one meal is going to be shakes, again with fruit. And that should be, so with two meals being normal, and one meal being sort of, you know, very light, uh, that should uh, reduce the amount of uh, carbohydrates coming into the body, particularly the heavy carbohydrates like the starches. Uh, and, uh, and and produce a uh, for the body anyways a cooler summer because the type of foods you eat affects your metabolism and if your metabolism is very high is burning a lot of the calories off you're gonna be sweating a lot so you don't want that you don't want to be you don't want to be sweating a lot so to cool your body down you don't want to put the uh, heavy calories in the starches, which are the polysaccharides. Uh, you don't want them in your diet. Or at least you want to reduce them to a point where they're, they don't affect how your body metabolizes things. So that's the way I'm sort of thinking about uh, the diet. Of the sort of change my drinks. We drinks now reflect the more aqueous environment, but also uh, produces a more, a slightly more acidic environment with the iced teas. And the iced teas are not powders. They're not powdered drinks. They're actually fresh brewed. They're they're, they're a brewed tea. So that uh, is good. Anyways, we're coming to the end of the street. It's time to cross and I'll see you afterwards. I passed a lot of streets in terms of the crossing. We're getting towards the uh, TNT shopping center. And it's on walks like this. Uh, this is how I do a lot of my thinking. 
you know, if I want to come up with ideas and work on different ideas, uh, walking is one of the best ways to do that. And so I just started thinking about the uh, IMO part of uh, InstaVlog, the IMO vlog. And uh, I think that, you know, there's enough there that we can really do a lot of exploration. We can do a lot of good uh, discussion. The question is whether or not the average mind, particularly those who view uh, YouTube, can handle anything more than five minutes in terms of uh, being in depth. You know, where is your intellectual capacity at? Five minutes or more than five minutes? Can you handle something that continues, that goes? beyond pushes your limits or do you simply accept what's be, what you're being told you know go along with the crowd and simply that's that and that's kind of you know i ask myself these questions a lot you know how far do you go how far do you don't go in terms of how far out of the normal thought pattern do you try to push yourself well typically for myself uh, the challenges come in daily. It's not an issue whether or not uh, <laughs> whether I'm not pushing myself. I am. It is sometimes limited a lot, and sometimes limited is not a lot. And this kind of happens when you're doing the research and you're, tra you're chasing down leads. You're trying to find information where information is and what exactly that information is. So you're looking at where the information is, what the information is, who put it out, why do they put it out. In that case, you're trying to, put out, trying to find out why they put it out, who they are, in terms of the authors of the material, who supplied it, who posted it. All these questions come into play. And you could spend a good 15 hours non-stop before you get to a satisfactory answer which could be no answer it means you have to go further but uh, you know that's, that's kind of the way things are here I am at TNT this is uh, the plaza here more people around so the vlog has to end now anyways I'll see you guys when I come out Well, I've done shopping, <laughs> and the timestamp that, that I came out with was 12.40, so uh, it's sitting there left around uh, 11.30, it's now 12.40, uh, I've been out for about an hour, uh, I'm heading back, and then we'll go from there, let's see, you know, what the day brings us, probably maybe do a midday report, you know, let's try to do, you know, I'm going to try to do a more varied vlog. Uh, I'm trying. I'm working on a new camera setup so that it becomes as easy as doing the uh, the vlogs in the back and the filming in the back, and, and where I am in the in the uh, on the couch. Uh, that's pretty easy. The setup's pretty pretty easy there. Pretty consistent. So now I've got to do something for uh, <laughs> the uh, BTS vlogs. And uh, I think uh, I'll be using this camera more often than not because I have another camera that was initially on the research desk in the library for other filming that's going to go on in the studio there. So, you know, we'll kind of have to play it by ear and see how we we'll work things out. I do have work to do on the editing bay, on the editing bay today, today, so I'll try to do a lot more on the, on the editing bay. Uh, see if I can get the graphics done for uh, Beauty and the Geek. Once I get the, the, once I get the graphics done for Beauty and the Geek, uh, the next ep episode will be going out. So, yeah. Anyways, I always manage to get a larger load than I expect to, so I will see you back at the office 
couple of, uh, about four hours from now for the midday vlog. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.